Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we continued our work against the Civilian Galactic Assembly, occupying a couple more planets, and we are currently sieging yet another planet, or at least invading it, and hopefully that will fall sometime soon. We're getting pretty close, I think, to being able to put this war to bed bed 18 war score necessary le left with we're going to be getting 12 additional war score by just waiting so and that should hopefully end soon okay and the other thing that i wanted to mention is that uh one of my viewers who's been participating in the Roleplay Discord wanted me to mention something about an event that we had last episode regarding the ISK sending forces, sending ships to our border. Um, it uh, they claim is uh, benign, but we will see that a contingent uh, consisting of uh, Angelic Knight Lady Courtney Leinard, Senator Cedric Leinard, and Senator Zandros Athelia are heading to ISK space to try to ascertain what is going on. And if you're interested in uh, more about that, then you can go ahead and sign up on the Roleplay Discord, which I think we should have links to that in either the video description or the comments. All right, so on to what we're doing. Let's go ahead and unpause the game. Let this thing finish. How far along are we? Okay, we've got the militia forces down to about half strength, and the actual defense army is down to about a quarter strength. So, analyzing debris ion disruptors, plasma, accelerators, physics research, engineering research. Okay. Are we still actually scanning any debris here? Yes. 71%. Now... This is an enemy battleship. Another one of my, or... I think, yeah, one of my viewers was also curious about how one of our battleships would stand up in a one-on-one -on -one match with one of the Savelli battleships, just to see how our tech is uh, standing up. So, this is what we're going to do. We are going to cancel these, this fleet's jump. I'm going to split off the one battleship and we're going to put Admiral Gildengard in command of that ship. Now that may give a significant advantage. But this Admiral has always been a bit of an adventurous sort. So, are we actually transferring? There we go. Alright. Let's jump this ship. And let's see what one of these can do. While we wait for these sieges to finish. Debris analyzed. All right, let's see. We got ion disruptors, X-ray lasers, plasma accelerators, and some research points. Technology discovered. Ah, turbo laser weapon damage plus ten percent. 
Turbo laser weapon fire rate plus 10%. Spitfire battleship designs. I like the sound of this. We could continue to try to unlock Dreadnought, but no, let's go with the the new battleship designs. Because what someone suggested is I create a battleship design that has the charge behavior to charge in enemy forces. Um, I'm thinking that's not actually a bad idea, because right now the units we have on charge behavior are our, one of our classes, destroyers and the strike cruisers. Um, they don't have a ton of health. Engaging so something that charges into the enemy that actually can sit there and absorb some damage would be a bad thing. Oh, now they're firing back. We've already managed to strip their shields. even gotten our shield move. There we go. Okay. Let's see, their armor is 128, ours is 143. So we may actually be able to finish this battle with them not even be able to knock our shields to Something we just got in range of hit the shields pretty hard there. All right. All right, you guys fly over there. We're gonna move the admiral back to the main fleet. And then we'll just remerge them. So we have another enemy battleship. A collection of ships. Entering Hyperlane to Polaris. I mean, do you really want to do that? Evading hostiles. I'm doing a hyperlane to... Okay, so they're entering order of Tementh. Which is... Over here. Okay. Get that battleship merged back in. There we go. Establishing colony. Who is establishing colonies? So really that many colonies are going to be established in our sectors? Hmm. All right, what is the closest to Tementh? Idria. Okay, so you guys fly down here and head into there. Oh, the fleet left? That's not great. Where are you guys going?
Ion disorders, proton, torpedoes, plasma accelerators, active countermeasures. Be nice to actually get some torpedoes, some actual torpedoes. We don't actually have any of that yet. Tamanth. Tamanth. Okay. That's strange. Now here's the thing, is that there is this enemy ship. All right. We have occupied it. Embark. Technology discovered. All right, and now we need to split off some ships we're gonna send let's see the 37th the 28th and the 34th and the 38th to land rest of the army come over here and land there. All right, turbo laser weapon fire rate plus five percent. All right, proton torpedoes. Let's finish that off. Ah, good particles lines up. Let's see how close we are. We're at 11. One thing I noticed... Yeah, it looks like the Omni have closed the borders. And they're now hostile to us. So I think if we're going to go to war with the Ozcocks and the Kark, we need to basically smash our way through the Metatron first. Three, two, one. Let's see where we end up. And. See if we can get engaged before they jump. I think we can. I think we already are. We're launching fighters. Corvettes are flanking. See, what is it? One light carrier and one cruiser. Now that one's about to 
Aye, there it is. Oh. Yep. No casualties. Have they not been able to... Why have they not been bombarding? At least we should be. Deploying liberation forces. And we have our allies coming with us. There we are. And where is the fleet going? Really? Initiating communications. Alright, they mean star charts. They're gonna give us minerals. We'll agree to that. See, that's just one strike cruiser. Where are they getting their ships from? Hmm? Here? Yes, that is where they're getting their ships from. We may take some casualties. But I'm gonna go blow that starport up. Minus nine, length of war is minus eight, so we need to at least take one more planet to finish this off. And they're re they're rebuilding their fortifications. Uh, Alright, fine. Get over here. So a quick check of the surface. We're almost completely filled in. Zeltec. Hmm. That's new. Oh, 
Or are those the presentience? No, no, no. We did have a world of presentience on it, but we don't have the tech to uplift them yet. Five months left on those new torpedoes. All right, election time. We're gonna vote for ourselves. And then again, I'm not sure why. Federation, Federation leaders of the Valdari Assembly. And this is gonna sit there and siege, I guess. Or not. They're sitting there, but they're not actually bombarding. Of course, we don't have any control over it. That's a little strange. At the very least, we want our fleet here to protect those ships, those transports, when they are finally finished with this planet. Alright, so the militias are falling off. We're over halfway through the actual defensive armies. We'll take a look at these guys. I'm gonna hope that they embrace a faction that makes them more xenophilic. That would definitely help. All right, these guys are one jump away. 2.3k. A battleship, a light cruiser, and a cruiser. Now, we're gonna take a pounding on this one. Colony conquered. Alright, so we're gonna take it. Embark the army. Twenty sixth, thirteenth, nineteenth, and fifteenth. Reland. And I would fly over here to land our armies if 
they were actually bombarding that planet, but they are not. Alright. Well. Let's go ahead and get back to bombarding that planet. Let's see. We're down to 13 assault armies. The four psionic and the three armored and three mechanized. Let's see, one battleship, one light carrier, one cruiser, and the spaceport. We will lose ships here. God. They want to give us minerals for star charts? Okay. Man, we are just tearing these ships up. Proton torpedoes. Alright, single point defense. Neutron torpedoes. You know, we're going to go with the better shields. Empire is now guaranteeing the independence of the Globe Star Confederation. They keep guaranteeing and, and removing the guarantee. Alright, what did we lose? We lost three Corvettes. Okay, not un unexpected. I thought we were going to lose a lot more than we did. So, that's good. And, let's see where we're at. We are at minus one. So we just need to get two of those length of war ticks, and then we will have one. And that will probably take less time than it will take to occupy another planet. So I don't see that there's any need to... risk any more casualties for our ground forces. Oh, wrong one. We'll just hold tight. I believe we destroyed all of their spaceports, so they won't be getting any more ships than the ones they currently have. That cruiser, destroyer, and corvette.
All right, let's take a look. We're still at minus one. Let's see what happens when the month ticks over. Oh, still only minus one. Wow, that strike cruiser is making a suicide run on our fleet. Shields are gone, hull is dropping. Here come the concussion missiles. And it's done. Oh, now they're down to just a single destroyer and corvette. Let's see, where are we at now? Zero, okay? Just one more. One more point, and this is over. Is all of this just to liberate a couple of planets? Well, three planets. take a look and see if getting some torpedoes, because that's our first torpedoes, got us any new sections. With torpedoes, yes! It did. Point defense boats. That might not be a bad idea. With some torpedoes and some point defense, and we would say, what's the range on the torpedoes? Is 70? So we probably want to do a hit and run at a range of 50. So they fly in, launch their torpedoes, and then pull back. Adanos? Yeah, let's go with that. And now we should also have torpedo... Um, ...options on our other ships as well. So, let's see... Any new designs of destroyers we can use? No. Um, cruisers? Up, oh, And the war is over with the Civelli. Finally. Alright, let's take a look at how this shakes out. Our science ships were kicked out, and our... Our fleets were kicked out. They'll return... On 
11016, okay. Okay, so, Savelli Blessed Mandate, what are they? They're egalitarian, xenophile spiritualists. We're gonna offer them association status. We're gonna open our borders. Well, once they become a Federation Associate, we may get enough opinion to make to open up a migration treaty with them. The Isk Empire is now guaranteeing the independence of the Savelli Galactic Assembly. Really? But, if we look at this, our friends the Pia Savelli Conclave now actually have a corridor where they can access all of their planets. Alright, so they are now associates. They now have migration treaties. Initiating communications. We can go into a research agreement. And send them some energy credits. What's this? Hold on. You're progressing too rapidly for your safety and our own. Allow us to guide you. Your carelessness can be stopped. The Larongo want me to become a satellite state. We are going to decline. That might prove to be a problem moving forward. Our trade treaty with the Pious Silly Conclave has ended. Ah, but they have opened their borders. Okay, this kind of got severed a little bit, a little bit, but now we have open borders. So, you should be good. Alright, once our ships are back, then we will send them for repairs and upgrades and everything. I'll probably take a look at ship designs in between episodes to see if I might make uh, some additional uh, alterations. But uh, I think we're probably good for now. So we'll end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time. Hold just a moment. Savelli are displaying psionic potential. Latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals belonging to the Savelli species, according to leaked reports. Authorities in Savelli blessed mandate. This must be a fairly recent development since we have no record of Savelli ever displaying psionic abilities on file. According to leaked reports, these powers are so far limited to a very small minority of the Savelli species as a whole. Scientists in the Savelli blessed mandate have offered no explanation. How peculiar. All right. So that's interesting. All right. I already did my outro, so yeah, I will see you next time.